Hey there, A Bird Freedom Fam. So this morning, we're going to go over the resurrection of the AR pistol that actually belongs to a member of the A Bird Freedom Fam here in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Um, this poor pistol came in, the customer was working inside of a budget, and unfortunately, his budget bought him a lot of problems. Um, we'll go over some of that real quick. So this was a polymer upper and lower. Um, I'm not going to go naming brands because things happen to everybody. So after a few hundred rounds, the customer couldn't move the bolt to the rear with the charging handle. Literally, you had to mortar it. So basically, it was useless. And so he brought it in after he had taken it to another shop. And I'm going to try to show it. But if you look inside right here you can actually see where it was legitimately eating itself um, because of the fact that there is cast aluminum of course where your upper and lower takedown pins are but there's a handful of other problems with this pistol um, literally during the teardown I took the flash suppressor as well as the barrel nut off by hand I went to put tools on them and they just came apart this model also has a polymer hammer, polymer, polymer trigger, polymer disconnect, polymer takedown pins. Now I'm sure there's folks out there that have polymer ARs and they run just great. This one unfortunately is one of the ones that just gave up the ghost. So being a member of the A-Bird Freedom family came in and see me, AC, um, I appreciate that. And when you come in to pick this pistol up today, if you haven't seen this video already, I'll show it to you again. Because this will also be your functioning test fire video. So, having gone through and picked up affordable aluminum upper and lower. And replaced the buffer tube. Went ahead and just literally rebuilt it. Um, let's go ahead and let's put the first rounds down range. And see what she does. She barks. So, obviously, we don't have to mortar it now. So, things are important, such as barrel nut torque. And that upper is actually warped to the point where completely stripped down, you can't get the charging handle to go through the channel about halfway up. It gets all bound up. The upper receiver actually warped. To the side Woo, whoop. I don't know why I did that but so let's go ahead I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and load up another mag we'll put a few more rounds through it and make sure she runs good so that uh, that member of the a bird freedom fam here in Lake Havasu City Arizona can go ahead and get his pistol back go ahead like comment subscribe here we go uh, another another rotation of test fire on the resurrected formerly polymer now aluminum, upper and lower, built out AR pistol. Of course, we're clear, bolt locked to the rear, magazine is empty, and the ejection pattern, pretty consistent. Um, AC, you're back up, bud. And uh, that's going to be it for the resurrected AR pistol. Everybody stay tuned for other, hopefully not such big issues that customers are having that we can get out here and share. Um, and if you're having a problem with your AR, Go ahead and stop in and see me at A Bird Freedom Support in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Let's go ahead and diagnose it because maybe the issue you think you're having isn't what you're having. That's all I got. Everybody stay safe. Shoot straight. Hydrate.